Oh, that must be my guitar. Oh, no. I can't read. I'm so good at my job. Hi, I'm Brian. And if your delivery guy sucks just as much as mine does, that's okay, because these guitars are made of carbon fiber and they can handle that kind of abuse. In this video, we're gonna show you how to disassemble and assemble your guitar. We ship them disassembled to you so you can immediately get your hands on them and figure out how they go together and so you feel comfortable taking them apart to put in a backpack when you're traveling. If you're here just for the disassembly, you can skip to the end of the video where you can see that. All right, so this is exactly how we ship them to you. This is our travel size and uh, what we're about to do applies for both the travel and full size. So here's how it comes shipped to you. It's basically in backpack form now. It's got the neck detached on the side, attached to it, and you can go however you'd like. So now we're gonna take it apart and assemble it. So first things first, just gonna undo this little knot right here, which is holding the neck sleeve part. And right here uh, is the instruction on how to put it together if you don't have this video to watch. And that is right here on this zipper. Open this up and right here, we have all the parts you need to complete your guitar. So we have our saddle, which is very crucial. That happens to deal with action and everything. A couple picks so you can play. Four bolts for your neck, your truss rod wrench, uh, airplane safe screwdriver. Okay, so this one was shipped with a neck sleeve. This is where the neck is. Um, if you didn't order a neck sleeve, it'll just be wrapped in bubble wrap, same place, still buckled in. The body is obviously in here. And so now we're gonna take it out of the bag and get it assembled. All right, so the capo is attached and leave it attached until you're done because right now this is holding the loose strings from popping out of here. Now we're gonna do the saddle, which is very important, especially for electronic one. This one is acoustic, so it's a little easier. There's no piezo in here. Um, so this compensated side is always on the smaller strings for the E and B. So if you have it backwards, your action is gonna be all messed up. So always have it the correct uh, way because we purposely file them down to the height that it needs to be. So if it's backwards or upside down, it's, it's, or if it's not in at all, we've had that happen a few times, your guitar is not gonna play right. All right, so the easiest way is just lift up these strings and slide it down. And right now it's not seated all the way. So you just make sure to push in and down and fidget it around left to right, side to side, and just make sure it's seated all the way down as far as it can go. And now is where we put the neck into the body. So make sure the strings are lined up and they're not twisted or anything. And we'll just start with the base of it first and make sure each side is going in and it's not binding on either side. And you just Slowly pop it in. All right, so the next step is just to start installing the neck bolts. Always start them by hand first so you don't strip out the inserts. And sometimes it helps to bring the neck back a little bit so you can see where it's going. And um, it just started, so you put it in about 95% of the way by hand. Go on to the next one. I like to do it in a cross pattern to help seat it correctly. And sometimes you gotta move it around, there it goes, until it finds the insert. Mm -hmm. 
you'll feel it kind of press in and then that's when you start screwing it. There we go. And so now that those are all started by hand, you grab the little screwdriver and before you tighten it down all the way, just look and make sure there's nothing binding on the neck. It's not catching anywhere and it seems to be equal on all sides and uh, kind of hold down a little bit so it sits at the very bottom of this. And yeah, just, just kind of screw it in and watch it as it goes. And I like to tighten them all equally together instead of cranking on one and not doing any of the others. I just like to seat them all as flush together as I can so that the neck is properly seated in the pocket. And you don't have to go crazy with it. You definitely don't have to over tighten it. Just enough to where it's got some good tension on it. And that's it. So at this point we have the neck attached and so before I take the capo off I'm going to tune it up a little bit to get some tension on those strings so they for sure don't pop out on you. So just give it a few winds on each one. And just in case before you tune it up uh, make sure each string is in its uh, nut slot. Now you're uh, good to tune it up and take the capo off. And then this is a screw capo so you just loosen that, it comes right off. And then you would tune it up the rest of the way to whatever tuning you like. And the truss rod wrench, or truss rod is right here. So usually uh, we preset them up before we ship them out. So it should be exactly where it was when it left. But if you prefer to have your neck bowed a little more or this way a little more, you have that option. Uh, there's a lot of carbon fiber guitars that don't have a truss rod, but ours do on every single one. And they're fully adjustable. <laughs> So now that we've put this together, let's show you how to take it apart. So to take it apart, we basically just reverse everything we just did. So first, grab the capo and always put uh, the closed side on the smaller string side, the E and B. It just helps uh, keep those in because they have a tendency to slip out sometimes. So just tighten that down nice and snug and start detuning. Always make sure to detune these strings because if you don't, when you uh, start taking off these bolts, the neck is gonna fly out and potentially cause issues and stuff and you don't want that. You don't have to detune them all the way, but just enough to where they're sloppy feeling. So at that point, just grab the screwdriver again, hold onto the neck. Take the neck out, set everything down, and uh, you definitely don't want to lose these, so put these back in the bag, and also your, your saddle. We've had a few people lose their saddle, and that is bad news, so these are very important. And screwdriver, put that in there. Alright, so probably just start with the neck in the neck sleeve and you put the headstock in first all the way to the back and put that over and that around. And just slide that over put that put that here you can kind of tuck those in and just grab these buckles and some people go through here which you can go through there and hook onto it or you can just go over the top but it seems like most people like to go through this little patch so that's secure on there and then Close that up. 
All right, so you just roll that up like a sleeping bag up till that point, grab this string, loop it through here, back through here, pull over the top, and then you can just do just a normal little knot, nothing crazy. All right, and after all that, you're good to go. So the bolts and screwdriver are TSA compliant. The travel size is considered a personal item and the full size is considered a carry-on. And both of them will fit in an overhead on an airplane.